a very good morning moon fortunes i hope you are well so we are starting with a new chapter that is chapter number 13 the naga dragon's lair it's written by madhu gurung who is from myanmar or burma so let us start this story is based upon the theme of bravery and honesty okay so it's a burmese folk tale it's written in burma which is now named as myanmar it's a bordering uh, country of india and earlier it was known as burma so it's a folk tale what do you mean by folk tale it's an old story that passes from one generation to another so folk tale is basically an old story so it is about a young man who saves the queen who has been taken away or kidnapped by a huge naga dragon so let us read this story Once upon a time in the hills of Pelong in Myanmar there was an old blind woman she had a son called Mong Thukata they were very poor and made a living by growing tea the son was a kind hearted young man who believed in helping everyone so the story is based in Pelong which is in Myanmar earlier known as Burma So there was an old and blind woman she had a son named Mong Thukata they were very poor and they earned money by growing tea but her son was very kind and he believed in helping everyone who is in trouble trouble means problem one day the queen of pelong was carried away by a huge naga dragon the whole kingdom was plunged in grief The king issued a decree that any man who rescued his queen and brought her back would be made the crown prince of the land. So one day the queen of Pelong in Myanmar she was kidnapped by a dragon. So the whole kingdom was thrown into sadness. Plunged means thrown and grief means sorrow or sadness. So the king gave out an official order. He gave, issued an order that any man who comes up and saves the queen from the dragon would be given the crown would be made the crown prince of pelong mong thukata heard the decree decree and told his mother that he was going to save the queen his mother nodded her head and went up to their tiny attic and brought him a sword so upon hearing the official order of the king mong thukata decided to save the queen so he told his mother that i am going to save the queen of pelong so his mother went up to the tiny attic attic is a room where you store your things or a store room and she got him a sword sword is a weapon a sharp weapon just like a knife on the handle of the sword was the head of a naga dragon giving it to mong tukata his mother said Take this sword it has been with our family for generations its magical powers can kill all snakes and naga dragons it will keep you safe so his mother told mong thukata that this is a sword which has magical powers and it will kill all snakes and naga dragons and will keep you safe from them mong thukata went to the king's palace and asked for a basket big enough for someone to sit in comfortably and a very long and strong rope so now he starts making plan how to rescue how to save the queen from the naga dragon so he went to the king's palace he asked for two things a basket and a rope rope means rassi then along with some of the ministers and soldiers he came to the opening in the ground through which the dragon had taken the queen so there was a hole in the ground through that hole the dragon had taken the queen into the ground so along with some of the ministers of the kingdom the soldiers of the kingdom he went to that hole the hole was very deep mong thukata sat in the basket and asked the soldiers to lower him with the help of a rope so what was the plan students the plan was that he would sit in the basket and the ministers would stand up and they would lower the here lower the basket with the help of the rope and he would reach the uh, ground he told the ministers that when he found the queen he would put her in the basket and tuck the rope so that they could pull her up so firstly when 
he would find the queen in the ground under the ground he would give a signal to the ministers and they would pull the basket up and secondly they would throw the basket again for mom to kata as he went down it became darker by the time he reached the bottom it was as dark as night so the hole was very very deep gehra so when he when he was going down it it was getting dark and by the time he reached the bottom of the hole the ground it was very dark as dark as night exploring the place mong tukata found the queen traveling around the place explore means to look for something he he found the queen i am a poor man he told her i have come to take you back to the palace please follow me and i will lead you out of the dragon's lair so mong tukata told the queen of pelong that i have nothing against you i have just come here to take you back to your kingdom please follow me and i will take you back take you out from this dragon's lair lair means den as there was no light in the tunnel the queen had to hold on to mong tukata shan trousers to follow him so what are shan trousers these are also called fisherman pants these are very common in thailand and uh, it these are loose trousers okay with loose waist bands means there is a ribbon on the waist uh, the ribbon you have to tie to make them tight so it fits all whether they are slim or fat they are loose trousers shan trousers so the queen was holding on to mong tukata shan trousers in order to follow him while they were stumbling along a piece of cloth from mong tukata's trousers that the queen was holding on to frayed and tore off so students as there was no light it was absolutely dark in the hole in the tunnel so they were walking in an unbalanced way stumbling means not walking in a proper way unbalanced so when they were walking while they were walking a piece of cloth from his trousers tore off fat gaya unknowingly the queen held on to a small piece of torn cloth tightly in her hand at last the two of them reached the basket the queen sat in it and mong tukata tugged at the rope the waiting men recognized the signal and pulled the basket up so firstly he made the queen sit in the basket and the waiting men means the ministers they recognized the signal and they pulled the basket up with the help of the rope they were so overjoyed to see the queen that they forgot to throw back the basket for mom to kata so the plan failed they had to put back the basket throw back the basket for mom to kata but they were so excited extremely happy to see their queen that they forgot to throw back the basket for him they took the queen back to the palace and they told the king that they had saved her so they were dishonest they told lie to their king the entire kingdom celebrated the return of their queen but they forgot the man who had gone down the hole and rescued saved the queen so students read page number 89 and 90 again listen to the explanation understand the pdf also write the difficult words in your notebook and then read page number 91 and 92 i'll discuss page number 91 and 92 in the next class thank you